Hi, I'm Carol Wurst at Rocking Horse Farm. I'm going to show you my round baby blanket that I have made and I'm going to put an edging on it. And the edging I'm going to put on is called the raised diagonal half cable trim. Now because I keep, the way I hang it, we're going to work across the machine. So I'm going to start over on this side as far as, I, as possible here and hanging three stitches. Now I'm not going to say anything about the tension because the tension is according to the yarn that you're using and this is a bulky machine so um, we're going to hang the wrong side away towards us and the public side away from us so I hang three stitches and I thread my yarn and knit four rows I hang three more next to it. Now we don't hang every stitch because if we hang every stitch we will get it to flare. I hang three more and do four more rows. I use my hand as the weight. Now I'll pick up the three on the right, put them on top of the three that are in work, Put these back to non-working position and I'm going to hang three more next to it. So I'll always be working four rows from now on on six needles. And I'll work all the way around the machine. And I use my hand, like I said before, for the weight. Now what you want to do is have a nice even weight. Don't pull down too tight uh, halfway through and then not enough the rest of the way. Otherwise it will make bigger loops. Dump them on, get rid of those, add three more. After I get a little ways, I'm going to check to see how I like it, if it's flaring and if it's um, a good tension. And by that way, I can look at it this way, see? And I like it. I like the way it's working out. Do you see that? It looks like a half cable trim, and it will not roll. It's just a wonderful edging. You can put it on shawls, afghans. Now remember if I did a tuck or a slip stitch afghan I would have it with the that would be the public side. The pearl side would actually be the public side so we would have to be careful on how we're hanging this. Just stop and think about it when you before you start. Although it's so simple to uh, you know if you don't like it just um, Take it out and start over and see. That's why I go a little ways and check to see how I like the tension and how if it's flaring or not.